right, everybody, welcome to Summerfield Stables. and welcome back to my series on how to start riding. This is especially aimed at those of you who have found it difficult to access equestrianism, whether it's financial, geographical, or you just feel like that you don't fit in. There are so many barriers in the way and we need to break these down for the future generation of equestrians. This is part two of the series and I'm so happy to say in my last episode, we had a lot of positive feedback, not only from you guys, but also the equestrian industry. Last time I had so much fun visiting a rural charity riding school seeing how they provide access to horses for young people from all different backgrounds. This week we're heading to Birmingham, the UK's second largest city, to another charity riding school to see how they provide access to horses in an urban environment. Welcome to Summerfield Stables here in Birmingham. I'm currently starting the day off in the Shetland Yard and I've got to say these Shetlands are so adorable. They even have tiny little stable doors as well that are so cute. But anyway, I better get grooving and get these ponies ready for their first lesson of the day. Summerfield Stables is a registered charity with the aim of encouraging young people to understand and interact with horses. Based in the city of Birmingham, Summerfield Stables provides experience with horses to young people who otherwise live in a largely urban environment. The charity aims to be as inclusive as possible with young people from all backgrounds and cultures, as well as working with those who have both physical and mental disabilities. So the young people in the first lesson today are in between the ages of 5 and 11. Here we we have Minnie who is the smallest pony here and what's really nice about here at Summerfield is that all of the people not only learn how to ride but also care for the horses so that's what we've been doing. First thing, grooming them, tacking them up, getting them ready but I think it's now time for the lesson. Everyone is now on their ponies and I'm going to be taking the first lesson of the day. I thought we'd do some fun things, maybe a few games, um, we can do some trotting poles and maybe finish off with some grandma's footsteps. All right, do a 20 meter circle at sea. So on your circle, really think about being a nice circle rather than an oval or an egg. If you want to go forwards to trot and trot all the way around and then to the back of the ride. On Billy, if you just sit for two, so you're on the correct diagonal, that's fine, Spotty, you can go along as well. And really work on getting in those corners, don't cut off any of the corners. Beautifully done, guys. Next, might be a bit of a stretch. Can you reach your pony's pole? Spotty's got it. Elbow. Do you know where a pony's elbow is? <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch, that one. All right, we're now doing grandma's footsteps. So basically, they have to be in halt when I'm facing them, so they can't move. But then when I turn around, they can walk towards me. And the fastest person to walk past the line where I kind of am is the winner. But if I spot them moving, when I turn around, they have to go right back to the beginning again. Okay, ready? Uh, Minnie was moving. <laughs> Minnie, back you go. You are all kind of moving there, so I'll let you off on that one. Freddie, <laughs> Freddie you have to go back a little bit. I'm sorry. Ah, Freddie, what did you do there? <laughs> okay. Oh, well done, everybody. That was superb. Well done, Freddie. You are very sweet. 
everyone give their ponies a hug and a pat. So we're now doing a fun favourite here at Summerfields and that is Chase Me Charlie on foot. So the pressure's on for me to not embarrass myself and hopefully I can I can get over the fence just like I do on my horses, but on my own. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, someone's already down. Okay, ready? We going? <laughs> That was obviously too easy. We've got to go bigger now. I'm here with Katie and Felicity and we're going to be doing some tack cleaning. Now you might be wondering why well, I have a unicorn on my head and that's because we're going to be doing it blindfolded as a challenge. It's going to be a bit of a race but also I feel like this is going to be a bit tricky because I'm not going to be able to see how well I've cleaned this so I might have to go back over it later but um, yeah hopefully I will put it back together properly all in the right place. Let's go. This one just Kate. I might need some. <laughs> Wait, I'll do like a little knot. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> this bridle's a bit stiff, guys. <laughs> like, I generally can't. There we go. Wait, what part's that? Oh, that's a throat lash, okay. What's that? That's a no fan. No, that's a no fan. Oh, no. Um, my sponge. Guys, my sponge is gone. Guys, my sponge is gone. Okay, you've had a minute already. So Guys, I'm not being funny. Find it yourselves. Um, this bridle is a little bit different to the ones I have. So it's just, I keep pulling it thinking it's one of those, um, what's them called? You know the buckles that aren't a buckle? The invisible one. Invisible. Yes. I keep thinking it's one of those and then I'm like pulling against it and then I realise that it's a buckle and I'm pulling in the wrong direction. I'm trying to have like all my little pieces. Um, in a pile. No, this is my okay. Okay. Mine's gems. I know gems off by heart, like the holes and stuff. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. What is this? Dates. Oh my god, I've got a feed. Can anyone see my. Oh, never mind. No. Can anyone see my cheek pieces? <laughs> Guys, I think my bit's backwards. Good. I was going like proper. Do I? I'm making sure that my bridle is clean. <laughs> my bridle is clean. I might be slow, but I'm doing this properly. <laughs> What's this? I'll the whole Yours isn't as clean. I've put the bridle on my head, so it's a bit easier for me to find where everything is. Oh, is this one of those weird nose bands? Oh, no! Oh, no, I can do this. You've got to check it. Uh, no, 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 oh, hang on, you, no, 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 hold on a second. Put things work. in the keepers and maybe double check your, your leaning of the bit. I've just realised I put the cheap pieces on the wrong way around. Oh no. I thought it was like my bride. I'm on the invisible buckles. I'll even tie it through the throat lash and make it all tight. Well, uh, well done, I think. Do I get bonus points for that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> nice. My bridle is now put together and clean. My issue was, is because I'm used to different sort of cheek pieces where um, the buckle goes on the inside. So I had to redo those. I had to redo one of my reins as well, because same thing, these are on the outside and mine can go on the inside. Also, this bit is very twisty. <laughs> there was one point where it was all twisted around. I was like, oh my goodness. Have I put this all on completely wrong? But there we go. My bridle is now done and I'm just doing some finishing touches by giving it a bit of an oil. Should we go see the ponies? Let's go guys. Let's go. That's it. Let me shut it up. Totally ready. He was very ready for his lunch. Hey boy. He's born ready. <laughs> Who have we got next? And Maisie and Bobby. 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 Where's, where's Maisie kept? Show me the way. Right next to each other, so Hi Bobby, are you ready for your lunch? There we go. All right, everybody, we have very kindly been given these Pony Stars uh, goodie bags. So is everyone ready for one? Yep. Yeah. There Hi, we go. There we go. You're very welcome. So I've got one as well, and I've been given the Connemara Champ Rosette that I will wear very proudly in honour of Casper. <laughs> There's also a little challenge book in here. We've got some stickers. There's also pass horses wide and slow. Put that on my car. Those are some shiny stickers. The next challenge that um, I'm being put up to today is the grey horse cleaning challenge. So I have years of experience. So I'm definitely in my comfort zone here. We have two very 
Dirty Ponies, uh, Rosa and Maisie. So I think I'm cleaning Rosa today, so let's get to it. Not, not for washing them with then. Oh, we're gonna hose her down first. Okay, we've got a kink. Let's go team. We might need to turn the power down a bit. Oh, that's fine, it's power washing her. Can't lie, your tail is next level filth. Look at that. What have you been getting up to? That'll be great. I think we're gonna need quite a lot on this one. I think we might need to do a double rinse on her tail. Let's let this leave the soap set. Could somebody get me a mane and tail brush, please? Taking morning slowly and Waking up with the sweet sound of the birds Reading books and sipping coffee I forgot how much I love getting lost in the world I think we've done a pretty good job with the, the state she was in to start with I'm sorry my concentration phase is awful Alright, the cleaning is now complete I feel like we had an unfair disadvantage because we had the bigger pony and also the pony that was the most dirty. But I reckon we've we've done the most tra the biggest transformation because the state Rosa was in before, it was not good. <laughs> but you're looking beautiful now, aren't you, girl? That's just part of her. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well let's see some brown. That's, like that's, that's part of her. Oh yeah, we can't look at the markings, they're that's actual... That's her markings, yeah. yeah. that's her coat colour. So we have to ignore that. Also, Laura, she was very dirty was to start she? with. She was, like, her very tail was black. Oh! It was... We need to check this tail Very then. dirty. She has that's pooed since. Not. It was perfectly white, but she's pooed. Washing competition in three, two, one, is... Lizzie! Ah, oh, we had the dirtier pony. Vintage. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I feel like I feel like we should have won. Also, their ponies clipped. We've we have a we have a more difficult pony to clean. This is an saying. unfair advantage. Yeah, definitely. So you chose your pony first, and you were like Maisie straight away because she's your favorite pony, and she was the less dirty one. <laughs> were, you, were you robbed us? I was. I was robbed of this victory. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Alright everyone, we are now in the car and we're off to a new destination and that is Solihull Riding Club. So at Summerfields where we have just previously been, they have awesome facilities especially for people who are newer to riding but for the more advanced riders that want to continue their equestrian journey, that's often where they go to afterwards which is Solihull. So that's where we're going to now where I believe that I might be riding myself so I can't wait for that. We're now here with Buster at Solly Hole and here's the horse that I'm going to be riding today. Apparently he's quite a speedy one so I'm looking forward to that and it should be a lot of fun. Let's go mister, should I get on? So Buster is a horse that has quite a lot of impulsion so throughout the session I was trying to contain that, get him to collect a little bit more, especially around the corners he can sort of motorbike or cut yeah. them off so I was really working on getting him into the corners, using himself, having a nice rhythm that's consistent throughout the session and also working a lot on our downward transitions because that's where I felt like we might need to work a little bit more on but he was awesome and a lot of fun to ride so we're doing some jumping now as well. Yes we're definitely going to do so. some jumping and exactly what we're working on with Buster. So yeah. Him back into that lower transition. Really well done. Oh, thank you very much. Excited to jump in. So we're now doing some jumping. Um, Buster here has been incredible. Um, at first when we were in this arena, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get a big canter, let him stretch out, blow off a bit of steam. And now he's getting really nice, consistent, nice rhythm, rhythmical canter. And he's an awesome little show jumper. We're having a lot of fun and he is just awesome. I'm loving you, mate. I wanna take you home. 
You're awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had so much fun riding Buster. I always think it's really satisfying to get on a horse that you've never ridden before, kind of figure out how to ride them, what buttons need to be pressed, then by the end of the session, really sort of understanding them a lot more. And we had so much fun jumping as well. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Summerfield Stables for very kindly having me today and following them around, seeing what they do. And they really do some incredible stuff. It really is such a lovely community here. It's just like a family. So if you'd like to find out more information, I will leave a little link in the description below. And I'll also leave some links to maybe how to get into riding because that is what this whole series is about. Also, I'd like to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. And of course, thanks to you, Buster. Hey, what a good boy. You are gorgeous. Yeah?